What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here, and welcome to my week 10 NFL game predictions for the 2018-2019 season. Now, like always, before we get into predicting the week 10 games, we're going to look back and see how me, the Bull, and Madden did for week 9. Now, as you guys can see, once again, me and the Bull doing pretty nice, but unfortunately, Madden kind of had a poor week this week. Uh, I went 10-3, and three, which is actually really, really good. Madden just below me went, I mean, sorry, the Bull just below me went 9-4, and four, and Madden, unfortunately, went 6-7, and seven, not the best, and uh, if Madden wants to get back in this, uh, I don't think Madden can have too many more of those weeks, but... We'll see. I am still leading the overall 81, 51, and 2. Uh, the bull is behind me, uh, 77, 55, and 2. And the Madden is 69, 63, and 2. And the bull's distance behind me is growing more and more because I got one more prediction right than the bull this week. And I, last week I did the same thing. Uh, so, you know. Bull needs a better week too, and I still can't flop it. I still need to predict wings, so the bull is just behind me. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you guys saw last week, yeah, I kind of messed up on uh, the, uh, the overall and the record for last week. I gave myself one more prediction correct than I should have, and I gave the bull and Madden uh, one more prediction wrong than I should have because for some reason. I thought the 49ers beat the Cardinals, but they didn't. I don't know. Um, I, I double-checked this week. Don't worry. I didn't make any mistakes this time. Uh, once again, sorry about that. And, uh, yeah, if you are new, uh, basically what we do is I predict what what team I think is going to win the game. Then I put, for the bowl, I put the two teams in a bowl and pick one out and predict the winner that way. And for Madden, it's just pre looking at the predictions through a Madden simulation franchise mode. Uh, let's uh, look a little bit more in depth here real quickly see uh, the Raiders versus the 49ers me and the bull me and Madden got that wrong with the Raiders the bull guy right with the 49ers uh, the Bears versus the Bills I got that right with the Bills I'm, I got that right with the Bears the bull and Madden got that wrong with the Bills uh, the Buccaneers versus the Panthers me and the bull got that right with the Panthers but Madden got that wrong with the Buccaneers, uh, the Chiefs versus the Browns. I was the only one to get that right with the Chiefs. The Bull and Man both had the Browns and lost. Uh, Jets versus the Dolphins. We all three got that right with the Dolphins. Steelers versus the Ravens. We all three got that right with the Steelers. Uh, Vikings versus the Lions. I, me and Man got that right with the, the Vikings. The Bull got that right with the Lions. Falcons versus the Redskins, we all three got that right at the Falcons. Texans versus the Broncos, we all three got that right at the Texans. Chargers versus the Seahawks, we all three got that right at the Seahawks. Uh, Rams versus the Saints, we all three got that wrong with the Rams, which I'm very mad about because I knew Saints could be the team to uh, break the undefeated record of the Rams, but I didn't take them. So I'm a little bit unfortunate about that, but it's whatever. Uh, Packers versus the Patriots, me and the Bull got that. Oh no, sorry. I'm sorry. I keep messing up so much here. Uh, the me and Madden got that wrong with the Packers, but the Bull got that wrong, but got that right with the Patriots. And Titans versus the Cowboys. Uh, me and the Bull got that right with the Titans, and Madden got that wrong with the Cowboys. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. That was way more difficult. I made that way more difficult than it should have been. Uh, kept messing up. Let's hopefully get smooth sailing here and actually get to predicting the season 10 games week 10 games oh my god <laughs> i really gotta turn this around now all right first up first up with thursday night football we have my team my game already the steelers we have the panthers at the steelers uh, I am going with the Steelers. I'm going with my team. I think we can get it done against the Panthers. The Panthers are a very good team. The Steelers seem very good after figuring out uh, from their slow start. Uh, so yeah, I I think the Ste that either team could win this. Honestly, I'm gonna say the Steelers just because the Panthers are actually good and the Steelers t seem to play better against uh good teams which is weirdly to say but if you're a Steelers fan you understand except the Patriots if you're the Patriots then we just we just suck against you 
because, but uh, I think the Steelers are going to be able to get done with the Panthers. I could be wrong, but you never know. The Bulls are going to agree with me and say the Steelers are going to win this game against the Panthers. Uh, but Madden's actually going to take the Panthers to win over the Steelers. Uh, 18 to 10. I think there might be a little bit more scoring in that, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, next up, we have the Saints at the Bengals. I'm going with the Saints. I I just think that the Saints are just... No, I just don't think the Bengals are the Bengals and the Saints are the Saints. Even though the Bengals are looking better than they usually did, uh, the Saints just beat the Rams. If the Saints lose to the Bengals after beating the Rams and improving to 7-1, and as a Steelers fan, I'm going to be so mad at them. But I hope they can beat the Bengals. And I expect them to, which is why I'm taking them in this prediction. The Bulls are actually going to say the Bengals beat the Saints. And Madden's actually going to agree with the Bull and say the Bengals beat the Saints 17 to 10. Oh, okay. Um, I, mean, I don't know about that, but if that does happen, the Saints really, really did choke. All right. Next up, we have the Falcons at the Browns, and I am going with the Falcons. I took the Falcons against the Redskins. Uh, and the Falcons were kind of struggling this year with all the injuries on defense, so I kind of was second-guessing myself, but hey, I, I got it right. Uh, the Falcons can play like that. I don't see why they can't beat the Browns, and I don't see the Browns even being this game. Uh, there makes no sense for them to win. They fired Hugh Jackson, and, like, just making, making moves like that, that's, like, I don't know. It, it doesn't help the season, really, so... We'll, we'll see. Uh, maybe the Browns can pull up a whole huge upset, but I just don't think so. Uh, the Bulls think so, though, and the Bulls are going to take the Browns to beat the Atlanta Falcons, and Madden's actually going to take the Browns to beat the Falcons, too, 28-24. to Okay. Um, same thing with the Bengals. Just, just okay. All right, next up we have the Dolphins at the Packers. I'm going with the Packers here. I definitely think the Packers are a better team than the Miami Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins are coming off a win against the Jets, although it was a very painfully slow game. It looks like only finishing 13-6. to uh, The Packers, uh, they lost to the Patriots. Like, pretty, like, it was close there, but, you know, I, I watched a little bit of that. They... They might have got cheated a little bit on the roughing the, the kicker, but uh, I don't... I think... I really wanted them to win that game. Uh, I think they could have if they played a little bit better. But uh, uh, I think the Packers are definitely going to be able to beat the Dolphins. Uh, the Bull, however, thinks the Dolphins are going to be able to beat the Ca Packers. Uh, Madden is going to have the Dolphins being the Packers as well. Look at this score. 43-40. to 40. Of shootout against these things. I not nah, if they can't do that against the Jets, I doubt they'll get much points against the Packers, which is why I think they'll win. So I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, it's been very interesting mindset between uh Madden and the Bull so far. Alright, next up we have the Jaguars at the Colts. Uh these teams are actually a similar record to the bottom at the bottom of their division. Uh, I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I think they might uh, use this game and kind of try to turn things around a little bit. They still have that elite defense. It has been choking a little bit. Uh, but Blake Bortles is much to blame. Hopefully he can get ball. Not hopefully, but like if if you're a Jags fan, hopefully. Uh, maybe he can, might get, get ball. In. I know uh, Leonard Fournette's not there, but TJ Yeldon and Carlos Hyde are definitely... Definitely decent back, so it's really down to Blake Bortles balling out or choking. So I don't know. I think the Jaguars might come out on top on this. Uh, however, the Colts are going to be chosen by the Bull. Uh, the Bull thinks the Colts are going to be able to win this game. Madden. 
for the third time this season is going to pick a tie. Tie against the Jacksonville Jaguars and Indianapolis Colts 34-34. to Listen, if Madden ever correctly ever correctly guesses a tie, I don't know what I'll do, but that's going to be crazy. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, if the Jacksonville Jaguars and Indi- Indianapolis Colts, if they tie, Madden gets that prediction right. But me and the Bull don't get it wrong. We just add, add another tie to our record. But this has never happened. Uh, so, yeah, I guess really all three of us are using different options. I'm taking the Jags, Bull's taking the Colts, and Ben's taking a tie. So, I mean, that interesting. But come on, man. You need to turn it around. And picks like that are not going to get you to turn around. All right, next up we have Lions at the Bears. Uh, I'm definitely going with the Bears. Uh, they got a pretty big win, if I do believe so. Um, oh yeah, get a bill against the Bills. They got a big win against the Bills. God, I usually I can't think of stuff like that, but yeah, I'm going with the Bears. I think they're a really good team, uh, and this is a good big divisional game for them. Lions haven't shown much this season. Bears have shown potential, so yeah, why not? It makes sense to give them the Bears. Plus, Bears have home field advantage, so. A lot of things are going in favor of the Bears, so I'm definitely going to take the Bears for that. However, man's gonna the Bulls gonna disagree with me, I think, for the uh seventh or sixth consecutive time, whatever I don't think I've been agreed with yet, uh, uh for this prediction. Uh, uh the Bulls gonna have the Lions, uh and Madden's gonna ha- agree with me and say the Bears forty two to thirteen. Uh, yeah, that actually, that sounds right, especially if the, uh, both the offense and defense of, uh, the Bears gets going, but, yeah. Alright, next up, we have the Cardinals at the Chiefs, and I'm going with the Chiefs. Uh, very, very easy pick. The Cardinals have been very disappointing this season, only getting two wins against the 49ers. They're kinda, they're kinda like the 49ers against the Rams that one year. Uh, I, I honestly, I think that might be it for the Cardinals. I think they might just have gotten the two 49er wins, and that's it. I, I don't think I'll see any more victories for them, really. Uh, the Chiefs, though, are still really good. Still really good on offense. Uh, yeah, there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to beat the Cardinals. Uh, yeah. I have the Chiefs. It doesn't really need that much explaining. They're most likely going to win this game. And the Bulls are actually going to agree with me. Uh, with, say, the Chiefs. And Madden's going to make this a three-way agreement. 28-17, to the Chiefs beat the Cardinals. You know, it It honestly, it just makes sense. Like, plain and simple, it just makes sense. Alright, next up we have the Patriots at the Titans. I'm going with the Patriots. Um... It just, like, the Patriots beat the Packers. Uh, the Titans, they can't, they're they coming off a win against the Cowboys. Uh, but, you know, they can't always get going. They can't always play well. Uh, you know, this is a divisional round rematch. Patriots got the best of them in the divisional round last year. I think the Patriots are going to beat the Titans. I just don't see the Titans beating the Patriots. I could be wrong. I very well could be wrong. Uh, but I, I just really think the Patriots are going to beat the Titans. Plus, every time I go against the Patriots, I never get it right. I've only gone it right once. Uh, yet, ugh, last week I went against the, them picking the Packers and got it wrong, which makes it, again, the only victory I ever got against the Patriots was the Jaguars game week two. The Bull, however, is going to go against the Patriots again. Uh, and not Not again, but... They didn't go against the Patriots last week. It just seems to like to go against the Patriots. Uh, but it's going to say the Titans are going to beat the New England Patriots. Get revenge from the divisional game. Uh, Madden's actually going to agree and say the Titans beat the Patriots 28-26. to Bull Madden, I would love, love, love for you guys to be right. I'll take that L on getting that prediction wrong. That would be awesome for the Steelers if the Patriots can lose to the Titans. That would be really cool. But, you know, they probably won't. I don't think they will. That's why I'm not picking them. But there's always a chance. 
All right, next up we have the Redskins at the Buccaneers. I am going with the Redskins. I have kind of been sleeping on the Redskins, even though I slept on them last week and it uh, happened to be in my favor. Uh, I think the Redskins are still a decent team. Uh, I actually have more potential than I thought to win their division. But, I don't know. I, I think they're going to beat the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers, uh, I think, are still benching James Wilson. If, the, if they're not, then yeah, the Redskins are definitely going to. But if Fitzmagic can get going, but early. I've learned this about Fitzmagic. Fitzmagic has to get going early if they want, if they want to win the game. Uh, but, yeah, if Fitzmagic gets not doesn't get going early or if at all, the Redskins are going to... Uh, gonna win and that's just too much of a liability to go against the Redskins for that to the Buccaneers so I'm going with the Redskins uh the Bulls going to agree with me and say the Redskins beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and man's going to make this a three-way agreement saying the Redskins beat the Buccaneers 24 to 17 honestly seems realistic score wise all right next up we have the Bills at the Jets you can't take the Bills when Nathan Peterman is a poor man. And this is coming from a Pitt fan, man. I, I, I didn't think anything of Nathan P Peterman. I liked him at Pitt. Uh, I, hope, I wish the best for him, but I don't know. I mean, he's just... I feel so sorry for him. Like, I, I don't know. It, it, it must be hard to, like, play. I don't know, man. I I, I I feel so bad for Nathan Peterman. But, yeah, the Jets. I'm going with the Jets. They're definitely going to win this game. Uh, the Bills have been struggling. Injuries at quarterback. Josh Allen's still hurt, I think. Uh, yeah, I I think the Jets are going to win. This is going to be one of them win their wins uh, on the season. And Sam Darnold, you know, they haven't been the best team, but I think they will. Uh, the Bulls still going to have faith in the Bills, though, and take the Bills, even though they've been taking the Bills for the past, like, couple weeks now. Even once against the Patriots and haven't really gone. But, hey, the Bulls still going to go with the Bills. Uh, man's gonna agree with me and say the Jets beat the Bills 33-28. to Pretty high, but, you know, I think that's a bit, like, 10 points higher than it should be, but the outcome I agree with. Alright, next up we have the Chargers at the Raiders, and I am taking the Chargers. Give me the Chargers, I want the Chargers, I want the Chargers. The Raiders are absolutely terrible. I don't think I'll be taking them again this season. They lose to the 49ers. The one game I think they can win. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's going to be hard to take the Raiders again. I think they have a game coming up against the Cardinals. I might take them against that. But other than that, nah. The Chargers are definitely winning this. I don't care what anyone else says. I don't care what Madden says. I don't care what the Bulls says. Uh, yeah, I think the Chargers are going to win. They're looking really good. The, the the Raiders have just really, really been choking. Uh, I, actually, the Bull does is going against me uh, with the Raiders winning against the Chargers. And Madden's going to agree with the Bull saying 24-22, to 22, the Raiders beat the Chargers. Look, I know the Chargers choke sometimes, but the Raiders are just way, way too bad again, uh, to actually have me be able to take them against the Chargers. Their one win against is the Browns. And they're the Browns. Even if they look better, they're the Browns. Alright. Next up we have the Seahawks at the Rams. Uh, Rams finally dealt their first loss. I'm still taking them against the Seahawks. Uh, I think uh, so the Rams are still a really good team. The Saints are a really good team. I knew they would be one of the continue continues to make the Rams not go 16-0. But I just, I still have faith in the Rams. Still a really good team. And they're definitely going to beat the Seahawks, I think. I, I don't have faith in the Seahawks beating the Rams. It was it was a close game the first time, but I don't know. I, I don't, I really don't see the this Rams team losing to that Seahawks team. Uh, the Bulls going to agree with me and say the Rams beat the Seahawks. But Madden's actually going to take the Seahawks to beat the Rams 28-14. It's going to be a close game if the Seahawks do pull off the upset. I don't. I don't know. I know divisional games can get crazy, but uh, I don't, I don't know about that, man. And we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, next up we have the Cowboys at the Eagles. 
Cowboys coming off a loss against the Titans. The Eagles, I believe, are coming off a bye week. I'm going to go with the Eagles. Uh, they haven't. Uh, they had a lot of expectations this year after w- winning the Super Bowl. Haven't really fulfilled them. Already have like five losses on the season. Uh, they could definitely use a win here. I think they're going to get it. Uh, I just think the Eagles are a better team than the Cowboys. Uh, so I... I, I, I'm taking the Eagles to beat the Cowboys here. I think they can definitely get this done. Uh, Matt, the Bulls going to disagree and say the Cowboys are going to beat the Eagles. And Madden's going to say the Cowboys beat the Eagles 9-7 to in a snoozer. <laughs> hey, I guess the defenses were good, so I, I don't know about that, but we'll see. All right, next up, we have our final game, Monday Night Football. Giants at the 49ers and I am going with the 49ers. I'm fully selling in on the Nick Mullins hype uh, He just played way too good to see it. I mean that it could have been a fluke uh, Fitz magic was kind of a fluke, but it's kind of coming back I don't know. I think he can get something going against a, a Giants team that's struggling Definitely he, he got going against the Raiders team that's struggling uh, why not against the Giants? So I'm taking the 49ers to beat the Giants. Uh, the Bulls gonna actually disagree and take the Giants against it over the 49ers. Uh, Man's gonna agree with me and say the 49ers beat the Giants 28 to 26. I have no problem with that score actually. All right, let's really quickly let's recap all the games. Uh, Panthers at the Steelers. I'm going to take the Steelers. Bulls going to take the Steelers. Man's going to take the Panthers. Saints at the Buck at the Bengals. I'm taking the Saints. Bulls taking the Bengals. Man's taking the Bengals. Falcons at the Browns. I'm taking the Falcons. Bulls taking the Browns. Man's taking the Browns. Dolphins at the Packers. I'm taking the Packers. Bulls taking the Dolphins. Madden is taking the Dolphins. Jaguars at Colts. I'm taking the Jaguars. Bulls taking the Colts. Man's taking a tie. Lions at Bears. I'm taking the Bears. Bulls taking the Lions. Madden is taking the Bears. Cardinals at Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs. Bulls taking the Chiefs. Man's taking the Chiefs. Patriots at Titans. I'm taking the Patriots. Bulls taking the Titans. Man's taking the Titans. Redskins at Buccaneers. I'm taking the Redskins. Bulls taking the Redskins. Man's taking the Redskins. Bills at Jets. I'm taking the Jets. Bulls taking the Bills. Madden is taking the Jets. Chargers at the Raiders. I'm taking the Chargers. Bulls taking the Raiders. Man is taking the Raiders. Seahawks at the Rams. I'm taking the Rams. Bulls taking the Rams. Madden is taking the Seahawks. Cowboys at the Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles. Bulls taking the Cowboys. Man is taking the Cowboys. And Giants at the 49ers. I'm taking the 49ers. Bulls taking the Giants. Madden is taking the Giants. And with that concludes week 10 game predictions if you guys want to see how we all did make sure you check out the week 11 get game predictions because like we did with week 9 this week we'll recap it before we get into the actual week 9 predictions and this one's going to be very interesting because i believe there is only four games that me and madden i'm sorry me and the bull agreed on so either I'm going to do a, have a really bad week, or the Bulls going to have a really bad week. At very potential here. I, I, we can't both do really, really good. So, making it interesting. Uh, Man was kind of scattering with the opinions, too. I don't know. I could pull ahead this week. This could be a big week for me. Or I could choke, and the Bull could pull ahead. This could be a big week for the Bull. It depends. Also, the Texans, Broncos, Ravens, and Vikings are all on their bye week. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like or dislike. Subscribe or don't subscribe. No, it's always up to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video you watch from me. Goodbye. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. So I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong.